Welcome to HodgePodge Australia. Today we're making this romantically sweet box of roses cake for Valentine's Day. You will need an extra large loaf pan, white and red fondant, three cake batters, some buttercream, some chocolate, a rose cutter and some pink tinting. First we need to make our roses and we are going to do that using a rolling pin, some red fondant, our rose petal cutter and a little rotary cutter, little small little thing. Start by taking a small ball of the red fondant, roll it into a nice ball and then just taper the end using your finger into a teardrop shape. We're going to want to do this several times and by several I mean about 50. So you will get very good at it by the end. A good way to streamline this is to make all of your middle sections of your flowers first and put them aside because it does not matter if they dry before you do the petals. Next you want to roll out more of your red fondant and using your rose petal cutter just cut that section out then using your little small rotary cutter cut out the center. You don't need the center you just want the petals individually. Then we're going to start with three petals to do our middle section of our rose. Just stick the end on you can see I've left the edge out there a bit that's because we're going to stick the next petal in underneath it and then fold that over. You're going to do that every single time you put a petal down. You're going to leave the outside open so that you can fold the next petal underneath it. You do three around the first section of your flower and then you are going to need to cut some more out and then you will do five around the next. Now this depends on how big you want your roses to be. If you want them to be even bigger you can then do seven around after you've done the five. I left it at five because I wanted a big swarm of flowers on the top of my cake but that is completely personal preference. If you want to have to do less flowers then doing seven around the outside might be good because it'll fill out that cake a bit quicker. So just continuing to do this for about 50 roses and you will see or will have noticed on the cake I also threw in a couple of white ones just to break up the box I thought it added a little bit of interest so instead of just being all red roses I just did five white ones just to spread out over the top of the cake then you're going to want to leave them overnight to dry here I have my two cakes baked and they've been cut so what I've actually done is made one pink and then I have used the two cakes to bake one extra large cake and then I have cut it in half and used my nice leveler and I have three lovely even layers. Using my chocolate buttercream that you see there I am going to fill the layers. You don't want huge big layers of buttercream in between each layer here just a small little layering to add that taste and so it's you know not dry when you eat it but only a small layer. So you're going to add your layers to your cake and then you're going to crumb coat it once you have done that you're going to pop it in the fridge to set. While that is setting you can then move on to your chocolate box that's going to surround the cake. I am going to take some measurements because I want my chocolate box to be exact so I have a cake that is 22 and a half long, it is 12 wide and I am going to do my box eight high. It's actually seven high on the cake, but I want it to be eight, and that's centimeters if I didn't mention that already, eight centimeters high because I actually want it to be a box that comes above so that when I put those roses in, they're going to look like they're sitting inside a box. Then while our cake is setting in the fridge, I am just going to draw those measurements onto some baking paper and cut that out so I can use that as my template for my chocolate box. Now that I have my individual pieces cut up, I have melted my chocolate in the microwave. I don't want it really, really runny. I still want it actually quite thick. And then just spooning a bit of chocolate onto our first piece of baking paper. You can see I'm using an offset spatula and I'm just pushing that chocolate along so that it covers all of the baking paper. And I want to make sure I scrape it off so that it is an even thickness. I don't want it too chunky on one side and thin on the other. So I am going to smooth that out so it is lovely and flat. I then place that on a baking tray and I will continue to do that on all of my pieces of baking paper until they're all covered. I have finished covering all of my pieces of baking paper. I am going to take one more sheet of baking paper just to cover the whole thing, pop it over my pieces of chocolate because don't worry it's not going to stick and then place another baking tray over the top of that to keep your rectangles of chocolate flat while they set in the fridge. 
Now we have our nice hard pieces of chocolate. It's time to decorate our cake. So it's lovely and hard and you just peel that baking paper straight off the back. Simples, simples, simples. And because we've used buttercream, we're just going to stick the chocolate straight onto the cake. So we're gonna do that for all sides. And then to really secure it and finish it off, it adds a little bit to it. You're going to tie some ribbon around the box. So it looks like a lovely gift boxed box of roses. Once you have finished applying your chocolate and tying a ribbon around it, it's time to add on our lovely dried roses. So just any pattern you'd like. You could even do a heart out of the white roses if you made a few more of them, but I liked having them sporadically spread out in my box of roses. So just play with the layout so that you get the most coverage over your buttercream that you can. And you have a beautiful, romantic, super sweet Valentine's Day cake. Perfect for any beloved. I'm bringing it back, people. I'm bringing back the word beloved. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial with HodgePodge Australia. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the comment button, certainly hit the share button because I think that everybody should know about this cake. I think it's super romantic, it's super special. And don't forget that you've got that lovely pink layer inside with the buttercream, which just looks lovely. Thank you so much for watching us here at HodgePodge Australia and I do hope you tune in again real soon.